So guys, all you need to do to start making consistent gold in this game is just learning how to do the bosses in the goblin caves. And all you got to do is bring a pickaxe, play whatever class you want. For this one, we're going to do it on Warlock because Warlock is definitely the easiest class to farm bosses on. And then hop straight into the goblin caves. So depending on what spawn you get, it's up to you where you want to go since we spawn in the middle of the map. I prefer to go to Cyclops solely because I was actually going to heal off that. I like doing Cyclops first if i have the option ah! holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me i'm not even gonna lie that actually just scared me stuck right there for some reason if this was hr i would have got obliterated right there by that bug a lot more players nowadays know how to fight these bosses especially in the sub 25 lobbies so I will say this strat is a little bit more risky in these normals lobbies than they used to be. So the strategy for Cyclops to fight the Cyclops is Warlock. You're going to be using Hellfire, Power Sacrifice, Power uh, Curse of Pain. And you're just going to be spamming it with Hellfire over and over again. And using Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice to get your heals back with Torture Mastery. Pretty much. That's it, yeah. You just kill all the bosses the same with Warlock. If you don't know how to kill it, Warlock's really easy to learn, but if you're a melee if you like playing melee classes, obviously it's gonna be drastically different. You probably should learn on this. I learned to do all the bosses on rogue, so that way it makes it miles easier to do it. Because Warlock you might actually end up getting some pretty bad habits. So here comes the rockfall. And I see a player come in. It's all you, bro. I'll go kill the other boss because we didn't get anything. Is this what people do? Do people actually try to gank the boss in normals, bro? <laughs> this game is uh, very interesting nowadays. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the troll. Considering that guy decided he wanted to help us. Normally, I would just fight that guy, especially if it's HR. But in normals, dude... Who gives a shit, dude? They don't have any gear anyways. These, you got all these guys that are trying to like sweat PVP in sub 25 lobbies, which is just very interesting to me. Someone else dead right there. Let's go see what the troll has to offer us. I was getting, I was locked in once that fighter came in there in case he turned on me. I ended up hitting with a power of sacrifice by accident. <laughs> Probably could have killed him, but it doesn't really matter that much. Then there's a plated fighter just waiting to try and gank the kill, the usual. It's not like there's even anything to gank, so I don't really know why he, he would do that. So troll, so for troll, you're going to be strafing to the left. You can also go to the right of Troll, but that's for melee. Yep, you're pretty much just going to Hellfire over and over again. Troll is pretty much all about learning what animations he's throwing. And 
at that point, you're kind of chilling. So, yeah, we killed both bosses. Obviously, got a little help on the other one. This is the better one, though, because you can get a troll's pelt. We end up getting a troll's blood, which will help us heal. These aren't nearly as expensive anymore. Actually, I think they might be more expensive. You do have the opportunity to possibly get a cape, so I want to hit this before I go open the door. Got a Chris dagger, which is nice. Some Oh, yeah, look at this. Magic healing ring. That's very nice. And let's go get our gold ore. We got a little bit of help from that Slayer fighter. You know, keep in mind, you don't always have to fight everybody, especially in these sub-25 lobbies, dude. Purple riveted gloves. They're actually not bad. Those are not bad riveteds. I'm going to assume that guy doesn't know that this is open. He doesn't. I'll just take my time. Let's go ahead and hit the line said chest. Um, absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's get... Here's what we came for anyways. The beautiful ore. Gold ore pretty much always sells for a decent amount. All throughout the wipe. Obviously, towards the end of the wipe, it's going to go down a little bit more than it was a while ago. Like before we were getting basically almost 100 per. Now it's more like 90 per. So you're making a little bit less gold. This could be, this is probably the chillest normals lobby that I've gotten in a long time. A lot of the times these sub 25 lobbies nowadays are naked players trying to gank the boss kill and stuff like that. Really weird. Like they don't have a pickaxe or anything. They're just trying to kill the bosses and normal sub 25s. It's really good to pick up this gear, especially whenever you get gear like this. But it just gives you a good advantage against the people that you could possibly fight. And that's what you get for killing the bosses, right? Instead of them trying to gank you. There we go. So we ended up getting 11 on this one, which is really, really nice. Now we just got to extract. Let's go to Cyclops side and hit the Marvelous chest. I have a feeling that... The fighter might be in here. Yeah, I hear the guy above us. I think he's fighting the Skelly champ. Okay, so he went ahead and looted this already. I'm just going to go back to troll then. We don't. You don't have to do anything too crazy. You can fight if you want. Or you can just dip back. You might have guys try and actually loot the pile while you're gone. But probably not. Someone did loot the... Oh, I thought someone looted the pile while we were gone. I was about to say, you're, those people are an actual maniac. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and get to an exit here. Let's go to the landmine door. Why not? No one even checked. I'll always hold on to a troll's blood. Troll's blood's super, super nice for us. And the easiest way to get out is you're going to come up the elevator. And you're going to go this way to spider room. My cast speed's so much faster. Just gotta watch out for players just in case there's somebody in here. And then take the rope exit. And there you go. Let's get on out of here. Whenever you hit that extract, you're gonna go straight to the marketplace and you're gonna list your gold ore. We have two stacks of five, so we can put this up for four, four, five each. Four, four, five each for both stacks. We also have a solo one. We can put that up for 88, 88 gold. And look at that. One already insta-sold. We also have a troll's blood. If we wanted to sell the troll's blood, I'm not selling my troll's blood because I like keeping them for good kits. Look how expensive that is. 745 gold you could list that one troll's blood for. That is actually insane. We got these riveted gloves that have a print pretty good rolls on them realistically these could sell for more than all of these but if i do list them for that high they're never going to sell so i'm still gonna put it even cheaper 495 so i can get themselves a little deal and the rest of our gold is sold there then we got the the ring of wisdom that ring of wisdom actually has two magic healing on it we can already sell for we'll sell this for 211 just this ring here alone 211 what i'm gonna do we're just going to quick sell the rest of this stuff here. 
152 extra gold and then 13 from the collector from that and that there is what you guys need to do to consistently make a thousand plus gold every single run on this game